the open road. I mean, see. I mean, where are we? Long Island Sound. <laughs> Beautiful day for a boat ride. Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning, and welcome to the project. I'm your host, Dan H., and today we will be going on an adventure. Yeah. Um, let's see, it's about 7 in the morning, and I'm on the road, and it's freezing out. It's uh, frosting all up my windows. <laughs> Can't see anything. And the best part about it is uh, I think the ZJ's mode door, blend door, uh, broke. <laughs> I've been using it so often, using the heat so often in the ZJ. And uh, now it's not getting hot, so I think I have to go and uh, fix that, so that's another video. But the mission for the adventure today is we are going to pick up parts. Um, I was out late last night trying to get some uh, work done on the trailer because uh, my buddy Andy and I, we were about to go pick up a new XJ. I'm going to flip an XJ, or I'm planning to flip some XJs. Um, a lot of traffic just so I could uh, have some money for uh, my, my beach jeep coming up. So uh, gonna flip XJs, but unfortunately uh, the plans fell through and we're not gonna be able to get that XJ. So uh, Andy came through and he found some parts. Now, I have been stockpiling tons and tons of parts in my two-door XJ. Uh, I know I haven't shown you guys anything. I'm trying to keep it hush-hush uh, for now, but I have been working on it. Uh, nothing worthy of filming yet. It's still uh, it's still boring stuff. Just doing some measurements, some calculations, some budgeting, you know, that lame stuff. So I'm still working on the Grievous. And uh, obviously we have more videos to show you in the Grievous. So yeah, so we are on an adventure. We're gonna get some parts. And uh, uh, you know what? I'll get some gas and I'll see you there. We got our gas station. Come on, CJ. So yeah, I'm not one for selfies, but uh, I'm holding the selfie stick out in the gas station in the morning. People are looking at me like I'm a weirdo. I guess I am, but whatever. Um, so a couple tips for gas in these uh, old Jeeps. Always make sure the vehicle is off. Um, if you keep it on while you refuel, you're more likely to throw an EVAP code. So uh, Band-Aids. Uh, definitely keep your engine off. And a tip for you guys in New York who aren't allowed to hit that little auto button. We got a chapstick. <laughs> chapstick lets you keep your hands uh, free. So um, that's the fuel. Alright, so I figured I owe you guys an explanation. The reason why my fingers are all cut up and bandaged is I was working all day and most of the night on that tow dolly. I was expecting to pick up that XJ with uh, Andy this morning. Uh, unfortunately, things fell through. Uh, I called up the, uh, the guy to get it. He said he forgot that he was going to sell it to me. So, uh, that's crazy. But anyway, um, I called Andy and let him know, hey man, we're not going to get this XJ we plan to get. And he said, it's alright, we're going on a mission to get some free parts. So I said, okay. So, uh, thanks Andy, thanks for the free parts. Um, and yeah, this is why we're on our mission. And I'm perking up a little bit. I think I'll be at full energy when we uh, get out of state lines. So, um, yeah, we'll go uh, get Andy and I'll check in with you soon. All right, guys, we got Andy, but he chose not to be on camera, so he will be my official cameraman. This way, he's guaranteed to not be in it. <laughs> so, uh, there's his shoulder. <laughs> there we go. You can almost see Connecticut. And that's good, because that's where we're going. So, if you guys didn't know, the only way to get to Connecticut is through the ferry, because there's no bridge. So, we're almost there. Twenty-five, right on time, man. All right, we got a stage in lane three. She said, "Yep, three." It's a beautiful morning for uh, a boat ride. 
It is. It's just, look at it. Here's the ferry coming in now. It's oh, like yeah. glass in here now. Oh, the sun's in my face. Oddly enough, we got a check engine light. <laughs> After all that rap about doing stuff to uh, avoid check engine lights, we got a check engine light. So I'm putting in the uh, Bluetooth scanner. We gotta put that into the uh, good old OBD2. All right, that's on. Just gotta turn off the engine. Now, let's see, find it on my phone. Now, all the Bluetooth things have different codes. I think like old pioneers are 0000, zero, zero, zero but I think this, uh, this OBD2 is 1234 for the pair. Simple, there we go. There. Alright. Now, I'm gonna open up my torque app. There we go. Now it's synced up. So let's see, fault codes. What do we have here? Search for fault codes. <laughs> it's the EVAT leak. Uh, well, perfect. Perfect to show you guys. Now we will clear it. Okay. No more check engine light. There we go. So, good old EVAT. <laughs> guys we are almost on solid ground <laughs> there we go officially made it to Connecticut and uh, we got about 55 miles to go to uh, to get to Tim's Tim is a member of Hack Shack Racing so uh, we're gonna see him check out his stuff and I guess we got about uh, an hour's drive so all right see you guys in about an hour Got a window blown out. And this is it right here, though, the one before that. Oh, <laughs> you sure? Oh, yeah. There we go. There's the red X-ray. There's the red X-ray. Is 
Is that Tim? Is that Tim? I saw him first. Which one is Tim? Especially if it's been a lot for a <laughs> Holy crap, look at all the shit on the side of the thing again. Alright guys, we got all our parts. You're never going to believe this. I still don't even believe this. Check this out. <laughs> and some of this is brand new stuff. Unbelievable. Tons of XJ parts. So thank you to Tim Very and welcome. Bill. Uh, you guys are from Hack Shack Racing? Hack Shack Racing, yeah. Dude, I can't wait to make a collab. You got some sick stuff going yeah. on. No, I'm glad can you we, could use it. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, some stuff? the garage is a mess because I'm, I'm, I'm doing a whole bunch of cleaning and organizing, trying to That's get more trucks in. That's because you're getting rid of XJ parts. Getting rid of XJ parts, <laughs> we tore everything apart, but yeah. Look at that stuff, guys. What is this body? Uh, so it's all 55 to 59 GMC parts. Man, that uh, is Primarily some... 1957. Awesome stuff. Yeah, that's my niche. <laughs> Cool stuff. So uh, you also have an awesome XJ? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a. We we'll take uh, a look. Yeah, absolutely. It's a '98 XJ. Uh, it's a uh, six-cylinder, five-speed. Uh, five-speed. Pretty, pretty heavily modded. Um, the chassis is reinforced with 316s plating from Iron Rock Off-Road. It's got a Clayton three-link in it. Uh, Clayton truss. It's Dana 30 and an eight and a quarter. Uh, they're geared 488 locked front and rear. Uh, I did a lot of modifications to keep it as low as possible, but also raise up anything that's going to uh, get hung up on rocks. So get it's that glance current and low center of gravity. Yeah. Yep. So I raised the the, um, the lower that. control arm mounts. It's got skid plates, you know, front to back, so you can pretty much drag it on whatever you want. That is awesome. Raise the shocks in the rear on the uh, in the back. <laughs> this thing is a monster. You have uh, a Actual brakes on top of the Bad ass. It does have, it has the Lund visor and it has the reflection. This is a metal cow hood. Metal? Steel? Wow. <laughs> very, very this yeah. thing is great. Spare tire in the back. Look at the rear shocks. Come right up through. Now this uh, shock setup, you engineered that all yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty common modification, uh, you know, in the XJ community. Oh yeah. But uh, everything is, I use the Trail Gear hoops because they are a straight bend. They do a 90 degree bend as opposed to the ones that are like 70 degrees where you have to cut a giant hole in the floor. Right. I know there's like some stuff that you can <laughs> get in there if you want, check it out. Um, so those allow for only two holes, um, you know, for the for the, the hoop itself. This is genius, I love yeah. that. Yeah, the two <laughs> holes for the hoop itself and then the hole for the shock. There's actually nothing, um, I don't do a lot of winter driving, in fact it usually stays in the garage in the winter, so I don't have them closed in, but I've uh, used the shock boots, you slide over the shock yes, and you zip cover that hole. take and silicone to the floor. Yeah. Very nice. Um, you know, it really is the best way to keep a spare tire back here, because when you start wheeling these things with tools and a spare stuff. tire, let me tell you something, you start bouncing around, that spare tire can be dangerous. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, you can tuck your toolbox, um, you know, I fold the seat forward, I can put all my tools and stuff behind that tire so it's all contained. Right. Uh, and you don't have to, you know, worry about it coming forward hitting passengers in the head. <laughs> That's you great. You tow with that? His, um, depends on what we're doing. If we're really going to wheel it... This I'll is my favorite part right here. Oh, the baby, baby seat. seat. <laughs> and he loves the Jeep, trust me, he loves the Jeep. Um, if I'm really gonna wheel it, I always tow it just because I don't want to worry about it. I want to be able to enjoy myself. But I would get this. I would get in this car right now and drive it to California and back. No questions. Asked. Awesome. I mean, I haven't driven it. I sold my BMW about two weeks ago, and I hadn't driven it since May. What are we purging? We're buying something <laughs> new and big now. <laughs> it's a, sell the BMW. No, so, keep so sold, the XJ. It was an older BMW, so I sold the BMW and uh, I'm on camera. I got in well, this you thing. Go, we finally got Andy on camera. <laughs> it hadn't run since May. I get in this thing, I fire it up. I just got right in the road and drove it to the Cape. That's all. The only problem I ever had with mine is the battery dies. That's Connecticut yeah. Beach Jeep. So I bought one of those yep. solar uh, yeah, battery chargers. <laughs> oh yeah. You just leave it on the dash. I haven't uh, had a problem since. The there you go, racing. guys. Right. Hack Shack Racing. And we like to uh, advertise piping plovers do, in <laughs> fact, taste like chicken. <laughs> if you guys don't know, piping plovers is the biggest bane of the beach jeeping existence. <laughs> they shut the beach down for these little tiny birds that want to make their nest in our tire tracks. Why don't they dig their own holes? Yeah. I don't know. know. But this is a badass XJ, guys. Was this a limited or a... Just a sport just or a sport. classic? Just did you sport. put the new head, did, uh, overhead console, console in? This came as a sport and it came with that. Really? Yep. I don't know why. It's a well, 97. Well, they all have the wiring harness so, in it. So. Yep. So this is a 97. My original one was a 98. Uh, the only real difference is the hinges for the doors that do the, the doorless mod. So yes. these doors come off. 
and the hinge, it's it's not as easy to do the mod on the 97 uh, the 97 and older doors. Mine's a 97. Yeah, it's very doable. It's just not as the 98 and up. It's like I can do doorless mod in, in 15 minutes per door. It's pretty pretty impressive how easy it is. <laughs> Pop it up. It's just cut slice that with pin the grinder, and then, yeah. Hit the pin out, weld the new pin in. Drill two holes. I just what just ordered. I just showed him the new clip with the pins. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, for four doors. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's a real reflections. Um, I was very fortunate to find this hood. When I found this hood, it was at a paint shop, and they used it as a demo hood for um, um, muscle cars. Yeah. So I had to strip over 40 layers of paint off of this, and I would get through like two or three layers, and then there would be a layer where they used Bondo to cover where <laughs> they would do flames and then outline the, the flames with pinstripes so yeah. that it was lifted. So to get it smooth again, they would just oh Bondo my over goodness. it. So then I'd have to sand, and the sander would throw all the wet crap all over me. But I worked really hard for this hood, and here she is. She's, she's beautiful. It's a nice hood, man. So uh, we're going to have to run and catch a ferry back home. Yeah, so uh, how do we find you for uh, Hack Shack? Yes, yeah, so you can check us out. Um, we have a website, hackshackracing.com. Uh, you can look, up, look us up on Facebook, Hack Shack Racing, and Instagram. Uh, you know, we're also Hack Shack Racing. So, awesome. Uh, we will be out at Johnson Valley Racing King of the Hammers in February. Uh, and then we do a whole bunch of uh, Midwest and East Coast races uh, spring and summer of 2020. Cool, man. We'll so, definitely hook up again. Yeah. And we right. got your dog there, too. Yeah, there's Kona. <laughs> Want to say hi? Kona's actually my favorite Mustang color. Kona <laughs> oh, Blue Metal. There you go. <laughs> so, all, all right, right man. Yeah, awesome meeting you. Thank you. You, too. All right, guys. Time to head. Take a look at all this stuff one more time. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh man, look at all those parts. Oh wow, that is a ton of stuff for my XJ build. So uh, yeah, hopefully soon I'll get to unveil that. Uh, sorry for teasing you so much guys, it is coming. Um, eventually, I know it, it will happen. Uh, but as you can see, I'm working on it, got all these parts. So again, huge thank you to Andy for putting this little trip together. Uh, thank you, Tim. Guys, go check out Hack Shack Racing. I'll put uh, the link in the description below. Also, get your Dan H stickers. And uh, that's going to be it, guys. I will catch you on the next project. Uh, like and subscribe, and peace.